Space may seem like this mysterious and untouchable place, but it plays a crucial role in our everyday lives. Think about how many times we call loved ones, look things up on the internet, or use Google Maps when traveling. These things are only possible because of over 2,000 active satellites in space. But as we speak, millions of space debris threaten these satellites and our interconnected way of life. And this problem is only getting worse as space exploration accelerates. Space debris is any man-made object abandoned in space. This can mean something as big as a rocket body or something as small as a paint fleck. Space debris can also be created from collisions, creating small and untrackable debris. Debris in the low Earth orbit is putting space industry stakeholders at risk, as it can destroy expensive equipment, create high repair costs, and disrupt satellite communications. Space agencies are constantly launching spacecrafts into orbit, but struggle to remove them at the end of their mission. Right now, there are over 129 million pieces of debris in the low Earth orbit alone. This equates to 6,000 tons and makes up 70% of all space debris. Having such a cluttered orbit increases the chances of collisions, thus creating more debris. These objects are orbiting at speeds up to 7 times faster than a bullet. That's almost 30,000 kilometers per hour. This can lead to collision damages worth billions, even if pieces of debris the size of a grain of sand has caused up to $50,000 worth of damages. We are in the midst of a new space race, with companies competing to launch more satellites at a lower cost. SpaceX, Amazon, OneWeb, and Telesat plan to launch over 46,000 telecommunication satellites in the near future, which is more than five times the amount of objects sent to space in the past 60 years. This space debris problem does not just affect upstream industries like NASA and SpaceX, which launch satellites, but also downstream industries like Amazon and Google, which rely on these satellites for data and telecommunications. This downstream sector makes up 61% of the market, valued at $207 billion. Amazon's $5 billion satellite network aims to bring internet to remote areas, plus bring in 4 billion new customers. For this same reason, Google and Fidelity have invested a $1 billion for 10% equity of SpaceX. These rapid developments have made space more crowded than ever before. Studies show that removal actions starting in 2060 would be 25% less effective in comparison to an immediate start. In order to advance the frontier of space technology, something needs to be done now. Since the first launch mission in 1957 of the Sputnik satellite, there have been over 5,000 rocket launches and over 9,000 satellite deployments, leading to today's space debris problem. In 1969, the first fallen debris incident was reported when five sailors on a Japanese vessel were injured by Soviet spacecraft fragments, each weighing about 10 kilograms. In the 1970s, space agencies realized that space debris could negatively impact the success of their missions. The Russian Space Agency has been performing controlled re-entry of 140 resupply vehicles since 1971, and NASA began their orbital debris program in 1979 to design equipment to track and remove space debris. China blowing up one of their spacecrafts in 2007, along with the collision between U.S. Motorola and Russian military satellites in 2009, have increased the amount of debris in the low Earth orbit by 70% alone. The severity of these incidents showed the urgent need for active debris removal protocols to prevent such disastrous collisions. Today, North Star and LEO Labs have launched tracking and collision avoidance systems to reduce debris damage to spacecrafts. However, collision avoidance is just a band-aid solution. The process is costly and time-consuming, taking up to 30 hours for just one maneuver. It can also ignore smaller, untrackable debris and becomes impractical as debris density increases. We need to focus on removing existing space debris. Controlled re-entry is the main removal method used today. It involves satellites deorbiting themselves at the end of their lifetime. However, this process is unsustainable, unsafe, and can cost up to $22 million, which can be more than the satellite itself. ClearSpace is an organization dedicated to active debris removal using a claw-like chaser. It grabs debris in orbit, enters the atmosphere, and both are destroyed upon re-entry. Given that each mission costs $129 million, this is a tremendous waste of money and resources. Remove Debris is a research project focused on testing a net and harpoon method to capture debris. However, these solutions have long removal times, and the harpoon method can create fragmented debris in the process. Ultimately, these proposed solutions lack the practicality to fully address the space debris problem. A good solution must be cost-effective and repeatable while avoiding debris creation. Such a solution would protect the valuable satellites that maintain our interconnected way of life, preventing billions in damages and allowing humanity to continue reaching for the stars. Thank you.